here we are again then. What a lovely day. The weather has changed. Mm, promises not to rain today. There she is. She's got my new new locker lids there and the new um, cockpit sole hatch. Just gonna load those on the boat. Let's see how we do. That's the mission for today. Just to fit these. Is it? Well, all right, isn't it? Fit these and maybe do a bit of anti fouling. We'll see. See how I feel. How the weather is. It's still got a bit of sticky residue on it, so all the shit's going to stick to that when I put it down. But. Nothing that won't clean off easily. Got my little rah, ring pull there. It's epoxied. <laughs> that should just slot straight in there now. <laughs> first things first, of course. Nice cup of tea. these in so that they're done my god they are looking nice aren't they fix those in so that they're done and uh, refit the spreaders now uh, the spreaders which I've replaced let me just show you those aluminium tube there heavy gauge aluminium tube and put a single wrap of uh, fiberglass tape around it um, these are now a very good fit in the sockets but what I'll do is mix up some thickened epoxy and set them into that just to act as a spacer, not to hold them in, just to fill any gaps. Um, I was fortunate in that I could reuse the end fittings off the last set of spreaders, uh, which I suspect were probably made in the same way and out of the same stuff. So today I've made a little jig, I'll show you that, so I can hold them both in exactly the same place in relation to the mast, whilst they set and I'll just smear some epoxy around the end of there, around the root of the spreader and stuff it in there and that will be definitely an improvement uh, it was really quite disconcerting where you can get hold of the, the shrouds and move them backwards and forwards I don't know what it was, six inches maybe it's quite a lot really when you think about the tension is on there and how it's sort of strung like a bow on both sides you don't want them waggling about too much um, and that was too much so I brought this pen and my intention was to uh, offer the lids up and then put a mark where the hinge comes above the, lock, the seat so that when I open it I know where that hinge has to be so that I can um, screw it in but it turns out the hinges are pretty much flush anyway at the end uh, so I'm not going to be able to do that so I've got to figure out a way of knowing that they're in exactly the same place as they are now before I put the screws in um, yes not uh, nothing's ever straightforward is it and the idea is that there's a dot on the hinge and on the back so that I can line those two up you know, I can so as with so many things boat related I've just had to eyeball it there <laughs> not far off though There. If I've got this right, putting the other screws in will be easy because the hinge is already in place. But if I've got it wrong.
Ah, that's just going to be fantastic. Look at it. Yes. All right. That's all the screws in. <laughs> yes. Lovely. Still cutting a little bit there. I'm going to sort that out right now. Oh. Well, it's not quite the big reveal, but it's covers off so that I can do the spreaders. Well, it's a boat. I'd almost forgotten. It's looking good. Now, for my next trick. I've made this contraption here which as you can probably guess will bolt on the flats of the mast and should be um, at a right angle to those obviously I'll check that that's that little stand that I used when I um, glassed in the forepeak that I'll use to just support the mast in the middle there are the spreader roots I'm just going to get all that set up we'll be right back will sit but actually they're not it's not too bad that one's just over there. okay just check all this out and line it up of course I was going to bring a big clamp and I've forgotten that haven't I Only the rain would stop for five fucking minutes. You know, I mean it has, but, but Jesus.
Cable tied in position, covered in cling film, epoxied, and now we wait. You see, it looks the angles are the same on both sides. Nice, that should be a winner. Okay, on to the next. The next thing I think I'm gonna do a bit of anti-fouling because it'll make me feel good and it's important to intersperse the nightmare with things that make you feel good. Yeah, those are perfect. I'm very happy. Very happy. Okay. Okay, that's it for today. Um, I haven't anti-fouled but I have masked. I've put the masking tape up uh, around the boat which in itself is no small thing. Um, and there she is in all her glory with a new garage and hatch. All the bits there, there were spreaders just <coughs> gluing I hope. Not gluing in, of course, just um, a bit of filler in there, a bit of epoxy filler to make them stable. And uh, the new cockpit locker lids, fantastic, and the new drains. That is coming together very nicely now. Oh, still so much to do before I launch, but um, that's on the cards now at least. And uh, I feel, I feel like the really major stuff is coming together now. I've got finished painting the coach roof and the cockpit and anti fouling paints on there I can get the, um, the vents back on and then it's pretty much you know we're all right. I'm gonna leave it uncovered tonight because it's not supposed to rain <laughs> and tomorrow is supposed to be quite a nice day so I'm gonna do some painting tomorrow. Um, yeah there it is see you next time.